So anyway, you should give a good round of applause. It's very right. Do you see, he's watching a little signal. 
Although now, the modern thing in earworks music is to work with your arms behind your back. That's just to prove that your dog's no verbal commands only, I presume, but I don't see that dancing with your arms behind your back is uh, really dancing, do you? Do you? I just thought you were supposed to look as though you were a twin girl. <laughs> so now you'll see lots of people with their arms behind your back. Then they have to talk all the time. Twist. Twist. So if you just work more signals, you can keep your mouth shut. Good. Hand jump. And they should be watching the signal. That's my moan for the day. Good. Good boy. Right, I'll show you. You can clap if you want, I don't mind. Let me quickly move on to a target stick. This is the next thing now I teach them to move at a trot. Or, you know, if you're using a dance cane or something. Well, this is like, starts them off on a prop. So in there is a piece of food. So again, he knows there's a piece of food in there, look. So it's got its own clicker on the handle. And again, once he's used to touching it with his nose, then I'll ask him to follow. When I've got them to trot, that's a trot. That's a trot with a low head. So not only is not unlike a man that can't multitask, he knows. <laughs> he knows that not only is he getting clicked for following that but he knows the way he's moving. It's down there. So he knows he's getting clicked for doing the trot. Now when I want that to be a stylish trot, he stays in the same movement, but now his head's gone high, so his feet come off. But that's a trot, and that's a trot. So it's actually good for teaching them to trot because you can see what the dog's doing, because he's out further away from you, rather than having him in too close to start with. So it's easy to see where to click. Oh, we missed that. So wherever that goes, he should follow it, really. If it goes up in the air. Good boy. <laughs> if it, go on, go on, I go on. If it goes down on the floor, should make him lie down or do a bow or see if we can get him to do a rollover. There you go. So you can see that then I'll transfer that onto a prop like a cane or an umbrella. No we Right, that should all go. Now we'll have Levi. And then you go back. So we do walk back, Levi. Walk back. In front, walk back. What can you do? <laughs> That's his bad dog. Are you a bad dog? <laughs> and then lights in your eyes. And then lights in your eyes. And we've got to figure it out. <laughs> Don't do as I do, do as I say. Here you think that. What are you doing? What did you do? Oh, we laid down to do it. That's his face. That's his favourite move, isn't it? Oh, cross course. He's doing what we call free time again. That's why it's on a lazy trainer. So I just sit in the house, get a pot of food, the clicker, sit on the settee, and wait and see what they offer. Oh, that's cross course. Oh, and the tail back. Okay, a bit of that. <sighs> so. Sit, because that face is his uh, favourite move. Sit, both, face. Oh. Yeah. There it is. So I start working with all their paws from when they're babies or whenever I have them. Sit. What I do is if I have food in the end of my fingers, I expect the dogs to, yes, I should think so, not try and get it out of my hand. When they back off to food, then they can have it. But if I've got a piece of food in the fist of my hand, then that says you can try and get it. So every dog that I train, you can sit there. As soon as they 
can't get a piece of food with their mouth, sit. You guarantee that they'll pick your foot up trying to open your hand to get that food out. So as he picks your foot up, then I flip him over my hand and give him food. If I want this foot up, then I take the head that way. He's so heavy footed, he nearly knocks me over. And if I want this foot up, I take his head to that side. So whichever way the head goes, the opposite foot has come off. Yeah? It's got me bracelet now. What are you like? Wait. And then I've got a command to that. Sit, touch, tap. Don't have to slap me. Nicely. Good boy. So that's the basics of all this foot moves. Isn't it? Stand, touch, touch. Then I transfer it on to say an egg signal. And then, when we did the violin routine, the Richard Curtis, he said you'll have to teach him to hop, because all these dogs do great hops. I said he's too clumsy to hop, but you actually learned it quite quickly, didn't you? You did. Come here. Touch. There. There's a hop. Very teaching them to touch when they're standing at the side and then trying to get them to keep it off as you move. It's a bit messy to start with. Wait, hop. That's nice. Very good. Yeah. You're clever. Push me off. Aren't you? Well, oh, I've got going a bit. I'm just going to bring one more on, whether they like it or not. <laughs> Yeah, I've got to go, folks. <laughs> 